friends, welcome to a new happy learning video. Have you ever wondered how plants feed? To answer this question, we need to understand Photosynthesis Photosynthesis is a process in which plants make their own food to be able to grow and develop. In order to perform photosynthesis, they need various elements. Sunlight, carbon dioxide obtained from air and water, and chlorophyll, which is a green substance that all plants have and is fundamental for performing photosynthesis since it could not happen without it. By the way, chlorophyll is what gives all plants their green colour. But how does photosynthesis take place? Look at this plant! As you can see, its roots are anchored to the ground. And through them, the plant absorbs water and minerals in the soil. Water with minerals are transported up the stem, reaching the leaves. The leaves are full of tiny pores called stomata, which absorb carbon dioxide that the air in the surrounding contains. All this containing water, minerals and carbon dioxide is called raw sap. Now it's chlorophyll's turn! The chlorophyll in the leaves has all the necessary ingredients for photosynthesis to take place. And when it receives sunlight, the process begins by transforming the raw sap into elaborated sap, which also circulates around the plant and works as food. All plants feed from elaborated sap and they store it in their roots like a carrot or in their fruit like an apple or a pear. Now we know how photosynthesis takes place but why is it so important? Without plants there would be no life on earth. We wouldn't have oxygen to breathe or food to feed on. You already know that herbivores eat plants and carnivores eat herbivores. Plants are fundamental for the food chain and they are also fundamental for our respiration. Actually, when humans breathe, we turn oxygen into carbon dioxide. Quite the opposite of when plants perform photosynthesis. A curious fact you need to know is that at night, because plants don't have sunlight to photosynthesize, they breathe like humans do. They take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide. Remember that! And one last thing so you understand the importance of photosynthesis. When plants absorb dirty and contaminated gases, they transform them into pure air, into oxygen. And this way, they clean the atmosphere and all nature. Plants are the best solution to fight against contamination, don't you think? Goodbye, friends, and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV. Great! You've completed the video. Now continue the route with the reading card, the video game, and the activity. Hello, friends. Welcome to a new Happy Learning video. Today, we're going to learn about the importance of plants, their main characteristics, and also the classification. Presenting the plant kingdom. You already know that plants can't move from one place to another. As you can see, the great majority are held to the ground by roots. But they fulfill the vital functions of all living things. They are born. They grow. They interact, 
reproduce and die. As you can see in these images, there are many types of plants. But do you know how many types there are? Well, according to scientists, there are approximately 9 million different species. Some are gigantic like this tree, capable of producing shade for 100 people at the same time. Others are tiny, like this minuscule flower. But although they may be different, they all have something in common. They are capable of making their own food. Plants don't feed off other living creatures like animals do. But they make their own food thanks to photosynthesis, process that transforms sunlight and inorganic matter in their surrounding into food. Photosynthesis is super important for plants, but for all living things too, because in that process, they release oxygen into the world. And without oxygen, none of us would be here today watching this video. Are plants important or what? Plants were one of the first forms of life that appeared on Earth, thanks to their capacity not to depend on other living creatures to survive. Their most predominant color is green. And this color is called chlorophyll, an essential substance to perform photosynthesis. Plant classification. As we said, there are many types of plants and we can classify them in four large groups to get to know them better. Algae, mosses, ferns and phenogams. Algae don't have roots, stems or leaves. They live in water, both rivers and seas, and they are the simplest plants. Mosses are also very simple plants. They live on solid ground but need a lot of humidity. They don't have roots to absorb water because they live in very humid and bleak places. Ferns are higher plants and their body is divided into roots which is where they absorb water from the soil, stem which is where the water circulates and leaves that grow upwards from the stem. Ferns also live in humid places. Phanerogams, despite their name, are the most common plants because they reproduce through their flowers. They are higher plants and their bodies are divided into roots, stem and leaves. Trees are an example that belongs to this group. Well, now we know a bit more about plants and their importance towards all other living things. So you know that we need to take care of them and respect them. Goodbye friends and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV. Approximately 9 million different species. Some are gigantic like this tree, capable of producing shade for 100 people at the same time. Others are tiny, like this minuscule flower. But although they may be different, they all have something in common. They are capable of making their own food. Plants don't feed off other living creatures like animals do. But they make their own food thanks to photosynthesis, process that transforms sunlight and inorganic matter in their surrounding into food. Photosynthesis is super important for plants, but for all living things too, because in that process, they release oxygen into the world. And without oxygen, 
none of us would be here today watching this video. Are plants important or what? Plants were one of the first forms of life that appeared on Earth thanks to their capacity not to depend on other living creatures to survive. Their most predominant colour is green. And this colour is called chlorophyll, an essential substance to perform photosynthesis. Plant classification As we said, there are many types of plants and we can classify them in four large groups to get to know them better. Algae, mosses, ferns and phenogams. Algae don't have roots, stems or leaves. They live in water, both rivers and seas, and they are the simplest plants. Mosses are also very simple plants. They live on solid ground but need a lot of humidity. They don't have roots to absorb water because they live in very humid and bleak places. Ferns are higher plants and their body is divided into roots, which is where they absorb water from the soil, stem, which is where the water circulates and leaves that grow upwards from the stem. Ferns also live in humid places. Phanerogams, despite their name, are the most common plants because they reproduce through their flowers. They are higher plants and their bodies are divided into roots, stem and leaves. Trees are an example that belongs to this group. Well, now we know a bit more about plants and their importance towards all other living things. So you know that we need to take care of them and respect them. Goodbye friends and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.